Hello and welcome, my name is Michael from League of Items. Today I'm going to share with you the best precision rune page. When theory crafting different rune pages, it's important to have a process and take many things into consideration. My priority when building a rune page is to compare the keystones to one another. The most popular keystone has been Fleet Footwork recently because of the Overhealed build, but I think after this video you will agree with me that Press the Attack is the most reliable and gives you the most upside in the late game. Lethal Tempo is really an afterthought at this point. The large burst of attack speed and potential uptime is appealing, but there is a mechanical ceiling we have to think about. I can imagine Lethal Tempo being overpowered with perfect inputs and attack moving, but I can also easily imagine a late game teamfight where the AD carry is locked down or trying to run away from tanks and is unable to do anything. Fleet Footwork is very popular right now because of Relic Shield and Overheal. This allows champions like Kog'Maw to survive the laning phase without breaking a sweat. However, this example should also show that it's more likely players are choosing Fleet Footwork in order to play Kog'Maw instead of playing Kog'Maw because they think Fleet Footwork is broken. Press the attack deals 30 to 120 bonus damage based on level and exposes the target, making them vulnerable and causing them to take 12% increased damage from all sources for 6 seconds. This keystone stands out as the best in my mind because it's meant to synergize well with AD carries and help them throughout the game. Press the attack may be outclassed in some phases of the games by other keystones, but the consistent strength of press the attack makes it a viable and reliable option in a majority of situations. Now that we have chosen press the attack as our keystone, we should build the rest of the page with that in mind. Since this page is most likely going to be used on champions who primarily auto attack, presence of mind is less attractive, leaving us the decision of choosing overheal or triumph. Personally, I believe going into a team fight with the overheal shield is more reliable and also acts as a deterrent. It's discouraging to deal damage to an enemy AD carry and have them still at full health. Triumph is a win more rune whereas Overheal can help create that winning advantage in a fight more often. Next up, in the legend level of the precision tree, we need to choose between attack speed from alacrity or lifesteal from bloodline. This decision is more difficult to make, and can be pushed down the line once you know which champion you are playing. Some champions with low attack speed really rely on alacrity, which decreases the potential synergy with Overheal, but can be compensated with by selecting a support with healing or building lifesteal items. You should test each yourself and see which one fits your champion pool and playstyle best. The last decision to make is between coup de gras and cut down. Last stand's conditional requirement of dropping low in teamfights is a dangerous thing to play around and is counterintuitive. Although it could be very strong in a specific game state, Last Stand doesn't stand up to the other choices. Coup de Gras can help create an advantage in the laning phase and mid-game, and is still useful as the late game progresses. However, as the game moves deeper and deeper into the late game, Cut Down begins to outvalue Coup de Gras. The popularity of super tanks in top lane, jungle, and support also makes it more beneficial to choose Cut Down, because 3 or 4 of your enemies will be approaching the 2000 more max health threshold which would be active the entirety of a teamfight. For this reason, I think Cut Down is the better option. As I said before, there will be situations where certain champions may benefit from slightly different rune pages, but the point of this video is to focus on the runes first. Keep an eye out for this page as the season matures and players begin to adapt to the tank meta. Thanks for watching!